guys, how's it going? It's Al. Welcome to this year's DraftKings Lobby Tour. I'm gonna walk you through all of the games that exist right now in the DraftKings Lobby for week one. It's like eight days away until Thursday night football. We have like 11 days until we kick off week one. I'm so excited. Next week, the normal cadence of videos starts with first look, five box running backs, cage matches, everything that we have normally done during the DFS season, during the weeks of NFL, one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera as well as Best Buys on ESPN and the CSS DFS podcast on the Fantasy Football feed, Fantasy Focus feed, all of that stuff, just like every year. But let's take a look at the lobby and let's look at where the games are, talk about contest selection, where we're gonna be making head-to-heads if you're a low stakes player, how you should be concentrating on which contest to enter, as well as a look at the Rainmakers lobby as well if you're interested in that game. Let's go. He's a legend. It is still preseason, so I'm going to start with the best ball lobby and what they have right now. It is August 31st as I'm recording this. Obviously, if you're watching this in the lead up to week one, and it's like September the 5th when you're watching this, hi, welcome. Welcome to the past. This is where the tournaments are sitting right now. The best ball games, the $5 game is at like what? almost full, like less 90,000, 80,000 spots left until that fills. Get in where you fit in between $5 to win the million or a $9 tournament. They have a single entry tournament. There's one for 333. I think there's a cheaper one as well. The $10 tournament single entry. That one's about 80-ish percent full. The $25, I do want to track this. It's like a third full. So I'm interested to see how this tournament does. Obviously, Underdog has their $25 tournament, same price point but it's $10 million in the prize pool with like 2 million to first place. Uh, promo code Al Smizzle on Underdog Fantasy to get that up to $100 deposit bonus on your first deposit to the site. A whole other video, but go check out the site. So I'm thinking that's lagging behind this tournament, simply lagging behind and might overlay. It might not. Maybe they're going to give tickets away. Maybe you never know what happens. Week one, there's just this massive influx of players uh, into the DraftKings ecosystem and they look for something to do. And if all these other best ball tournaments have filled, maybe they'll turn to this one. And maybe if best ball mania fills over an underdog, people will, that were drafting at the $25 price point will come over here. But right now, this looks like the best uh, value in terms of possible overlay if you are into chasing such things. Let's take, it the, take a look at the main slate lineup. We'll switch over here to classic. Obviously, we have the showdown captain mode. I'm going to come out with a video, <clears throat> the how to win playlist here on the channel. There is plenty of videos telling you the philosophy that we are going to use. I'm going to tell you how to build the lineups in the Fantasy Labs lineup builder. When that video comes out, go check that out. We do go over the, the process that I use every single showdown video. Every Monday night video, every Thursday night video, I do include that in the video. Go check those out from last year if you want to see what it is. I will take a specific look at it in a different video. But here's what they offer in the lobby. It's all the same stuff. Getting to the main lobby. The main room. $100 millionaire maker 2.5 million in prizes i okay i'm probably gonna enter a couple of lineups in this but like i'm not gonna mass enter this i'm just not because i just i can't get behind i don't like when 40 <laughs> percent of the money is going to one person i it, like i can't it's too much so like yeah i might enter like i make two or three tournament lineups a week by hand i might end up putting those into this tournament but like, I'm not going to chase this. I'm not going to put 10,000 in equity. I'm not going to make 100 lineups. I'm not going to make 50 lineups. It's just, it's not going to happen. If you're playing a millionaire maker, you have to understand that it is first and foremost, it is not a tournament that you should be entering with the expectation of being profitable over the long term. You're entering a millionaire maker tournament because there's literally a million dollars on the top. And it's the only way that you can win a million dollars every Sunday is by entering a tournament that has a million dollars up top. So I get it if you're just a, a casual player. We had a, a video that I came out with. Five things you must do, five things you need to stop doing. The number one rule, a little teaser from that video, a little card should pop up in the corner if you wanted to bookmark that for later. But the number one rule is identify who you are as a player. So if you're just a casual player, uh, which is totally fine, if DraftKings is just entertainment for you and uh, disposable income, something you like to do, like going to the movies or going to the bar and having a beer with friends. You're like, I'm going to watch football and I want to enter a couple of lineups and see if I can win a million dollars. Go for it. Have fun. If you're grinding, there are other ways that you should be going. If you're saying, I'm going to grind up a bankroll uh, and see how much money I can make and, and your focus is on making profit, the millionaire maker probably not the best spot for you. I know that I'm going to get this question. So I'm going to answer it right here. 
And if you see in the replies that this question exists, the question is going to be, how do you get it to show the rake, margin is rake, and the overlay for each tournament? It's the Roto Grinders Chrome app. Use Chrome, Google Chrome, you can get the Roto Grinders uh, Chrome extension, and it will just pop up and show you all of these things. They have a bunch of other tools that are incorporated with that as well. If you are a Roto Grinders member, it gives you all the access to use those tools and utilize those tools within DraftKings, the lobby, your head to head games. Uh, figuring out how much money your opponent has left for late swap purposes, all those sorts of things. There's, it's a handy dandy tool. If you want it, go to the, the Chrome store and get the Roto Grinders extension. There, it's been said. If somebody asks in the replies, somebody types that in the replies, mm, gotta watch the video. Like actually watch the video. Don't just scan the video. Looking at games, if you wanna play GPPs, guaranteed prize pool tournaments where you know they're gonna pay out and there's money up top and you know that, okay, I know it's a kind of a minus EV situation, but I want the binkability aspect. There's a, a low dollar option. I would suggest sticking to things that are limited entry, 20 max, three max, five max, uh, single entry. Those are, those are the ones that you should be focusing on. So like the spy, the double spy, the limited entry tournaments also typically have smaller fields. Double spy, 555 runners, uh, 1100 runners in the, in the $100 spy, they have lower dollar options as well, like the slant. The slant has always been like $9. So there's the 500K play action, 20 max tournament, if you're racing against 200,000 people. The slant, 40,000 people. Your chances of winning these are somewhat slim. However, the slant has always had my favorite payout arc on the site. So if you take a look <clears throat> at what it is, my favorite payout arc is this. There's $300,000 in the prize pool. 10% of that goes to first place. 10% of first place goes to 10th place. So it's not like the millionaire maker where 40% of the prize pool is going to the guy who finishes up top. Second place gets like 100K and third place gets a set of steak knives. Fourth place, you're fired, right? Like I'm not interested in that sort of a pay arc. Only thing I care about in that tournament is coming in and winning a million dollars. Obviously 100K is nice, but like you finish like top 14 in a millionaire maker against 700,000 people. And then all of a sudden you're like, I won like basically nothing. So I wanna go after a, like a little bit of a flatter payout arc. If you're trying to grind a little bit more, it pays 2X min cash, it pays out 20.5%. I'd rather see this around 15 to, you know, maybe 15 to 18%, but it pays out 20%. Week one, there's some more promotional prize pools that pay out like 25. They want everybody to be happy. Right? They want to give out that dopamine at the end of the day where you won something. You get that congratulations, you won email. Uh, so they want more people making the money in week one. Uh, if you're a high stakes player, that's a different story. Low stakes, you do need to be a little bit more conscious of A, the rake, because the rake is much higher at the lower stakes than it is at the higher stakes. You can see like the $20 tournament is almost 15% rake and the $150 tournaments are 9% rake. If you're gonna pay that rake, you need to be playing in smaller fields uh, and also the possibility of playing against the more limited entries with not like 150 max, but like 20 max at most, five max, three max. Also, the best tournament that exists out there is the Smiz Gang Listener League, which has not been posted yet. I will post a link to it in my smizzle.tv slash links link tree. It's in there with all my other socials, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Best Buy's article will have a link to that in there every week. The Listener League will be in there every week. Use one spot to find everything, smizzle.tv slash links. That is a no rake tournament. And then last year it started with three max and went to five max. You should be attacking listener leagues as much as you can. Pat Mayo has a listener league. ETR has a listener league. I have a listener league. No rake. We used to have one on the edge. No rake. Yes, it might be a little bit more tuned in and sharper field than the normal DraftKings lobby uh, people, but it's something that being rake conscious and having a good prize pool and having something to be limited entry, that is the most user-friendly thing for, for any player that is trying to mind their bankroll and be a little bit smarter about how they're entering things. And if you come in the top 10, I'll shout you out on the recap video on the fantasy football channel, smizzle.tv slash FF. I've been asked a lot, why should low stakes players focus on cash games and sh how do I enter cash games? Sorry, how do I enter a head to head? A lot of people just don't know how to do it because it's not here. Like you can click head to head and they're like, well, I'm just gonna enter one of these games. But if you do that, you're gonna pull a head to head off of somebody who's already posted head to heads. And some of the people in here are pretty sharp players, right? Even at the $1 level, right? There's gonna be people in here that know what they're doing. 
you might see your own name in here probably the reason why like really high stakes players don't end up playing down in here a lot a you're capped you can only post 50 of them and you're done it's not even 50 at a time just 50 and they don't let you post anymore and then if you get to a high enough level they don't let you post any also if you have like ten thousand to fifty thousand dollars in play which is not uncommon for a, a high stakes player i know that like people don't get that how do you have that much money in play well you just do if you play nosebleeds if you're a high stakes player that's what you're gonna end up with and it's like if you have twenty five thousand dollars out there and you're it's like current entries 25k and then current winnings 25k winning 70 percent of your one dollar head to heads like hey look you made uh, you broke even but you won 30 head to head so you won 30 dollars today for your twenty five thousand dollar outlay you're not playing down there you know if you have like ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars in head-to-head -head games the the fifty dollars in one dollar head-to-heads you're not making so like you can find people at that range but you want to post not grab so you go here to the create a contest button you click nfl you click classic you go sunday main slate head-to-head -head, public set by one dollar you can post multiples of one dollar two dollar three dollar this is where you're gonna have your big edge if you're a low stakes player we've talked about bankroll allocation how much you should spend what you should spend on and how you should do it some of your allocation should be towards gpp hopefully in those rake free listener league contests limited entry smaller field some of it whatever you need to uh put out there in one dollar two dollar three dollar head to heads if you're going to post like let's say you're going to post 15 let's say you post 20 of these and 10 of these right and that's what you're going to play because that's your allocation for you know for a low stakes or a lower stakes player uh medium stakes players to me is like 50 dollars to 500 dollars a week is how i kind of define that and you should have some of these out there in the lobby for people to grab you have to come down here to the set opponent limit this makes it so that anybody who scoops a head-to-head -head from you can only take whatever limit you set if you leave it at unlimited one person can scoop all 20 of your one dollar head-to-heads and you're essentially just playing a one twenty dollar head-to-head game you don't want to do that you want as many different opponents as you can get limit it to one now they can take one of your twos and one of your ones but they can't take any more than one at any given level that you have posted out there so something to be mindful of that is how you enter the head-to-head -head games it's going to send you to lineup prompt and you enter your games and all that sort of thing uh and it's it's a lot of clicks but it's well worth it because you're gonna get matched up against a lot of different random people uh and at the one dollar two dollar three dollar level if i was to post my uh my head-to-head -head lineup from one dollar up to a thousand dollars my roi at the one and two dollar three dollar five dollar level uh historically has always been higher than at 50 100 500 right your margin is a lot higher down there you're gonna win a higher percentage the average score down there is lower uh, in the one dollar two dollar three dollar head-to-head games than it is at other people just make more mistakes there are more players at that level so therefore there are also more bad players at that level uh, and the good players can't make enough money at those levels to make it worth their while so they're herded up into the higher stakes games the last tip in the DraftKings lobby one thing that we have tried to to focus people on along the lines of the play smaller fields and play limited entry tournaments. You can sort by these 100 man tournaments. You come down here, I don't know if you can see it, it's behind my head. You come down here, you go to field size, advanced filter, field size 100 to 100. Look for 100 man games. They're right here in the lobby. They have a 10% margin. That's it. Single entry, 100 man games, $10, $5, you know it doesn't show me i believe there are three twos and ones but like they're a they're a myth to me they're santa claus they're the easter bunny they don't exist because it doesn't show me those because i can't enter them it does not allow me but you look at the payouts on these 140 to first pays 22 people you enter one of your tournament lineups this is not a cash game lineup that you should be entering in this this is a tournament lineup that you should be entering in this and look there's a lot of you know smaller badges no badge players newer players in these games that aren't going to make the best lineup decisions and lineup build philosophies that you've learned to make on this channel or in our discord if you're not in our discord we have a lot of channels in there uh for channel members here on youtube or if you're subscribed on twitch paywalled kind of behind the channel membership here on youtube have people to talk about your lineups with all the time no matter what sport you're playing nfl baseball nba nascar soccer we have plenty of channels in the discord 
smizzle.tv slash discord. Are you noticing that everything has got a smizzle.tv slash and then it's just like the word right after it? So if you're looking for something of mine, smizzle.tv slash discord takes you to the discord. Hey, I want, do you have a, do you have a, a discount on establish the run? Smizzle.tv slash ETR. Everything is under the links though. Hey, what are your links? Smizzle.tv slash links. It's very simple. I've tried to make this as simple as possible, but this will be the other allocation of these hundred man games and where to find them on DraftKings. FanDuel, they have plenty of hundred man games as well. It's, it's a tab just like it is here, but easier to sort by field size here on DraftKings. Hundred, hundred over here on those, uh, on those tabs over here. And it'll find you all the hundred man games for you to get some, again, limited entry, and limited field contests for you to uh, to attack with and maybe get a little bit of GPP upside without having to run against a thousand other people. Let's take a look at the Rainmakers lobby. For those of you who don't know what Rainmakers is, uh, it is the new card game that DraftKings has come out with where if you've played Madden Ultimate Team or FIFA Ultimate Team in the past, you will totally understand what this is. Let's focus on the core tier because I think that's where most people are going to be playing. There are the most cards available. It is the most user accessible uh, price point to get in on. You have to build a lineup with cards that you own. Everybody will not have access to every player in the game. You could you just go to the marketplace and you buy them, right? So you can go to the marketplace, you can go to the Rainmakers marketplace. And if you wanna play a player that's on the main slate, sort by the main slate, you can play that. They have all these different tournaments on the main slate. Some of them are bar are larger than others. Not all of them are going to fill, just the way that it is. The $100,000 Fiat Frenzy with 5K to first, what is it going to cost you to build a lineup in this? Uh, we kind of talked about this a lot, and we have a channel in Discord where we talk about it. It's not the same. It's the same Discord, but it is a different locked section of the Discord. We have our VIP section for channel members. We have one section of the Discord that is locked for channel members and Twitch subs. We have another section, the Smiz Gang NFT HQ, uh, that is locked behind this Smiz Gang token available on OpenSea. Currently, there are a few left for sale at 0.05 Ethereum, and then it goes up to 0.1 Ethereum. 34% of the money, the description's right here that tells you where all the money goes from this uh, these token sales. Like 34% of the money goes to charity, 33% of the money goes uh, to bonuses for all the people that help out on the Smiz team, editors, artists, uh, our moderators in Discord and on the channel. So uh, if you wanted to help out a charitable cause with a gated Discord, with an adult community, talking about like stuff in a in a calm and, and mature fashion as opposed to going to random Discords where everybody's ranting and raving with their hair on fire, uh, the Smith Gang HQ key is definitely for you. It's not that hard to build a lineup. I have videos on the channel. If you wanted, what is this uh, this new game? You sort by your cards and you can build whatever lineup you want to build. In core, not that difficult to build lineups. Let's build a quick lineup. Let's go with Joe Burrow, Rare, show my cards only. So like I can play any of my cards from the higher tiers, but I'm not going to play my higher tiered cards in this game. Joe Burrow, not a superstar. You're only allowed to play one superstar in a lineup and the superstars can't play down. So I do have a Harris, but I can't play him in this game. Let's take a look at the marketplace for, for oh, that would be for him. I was going to say, look at core running backs. I believe that you can build a lineup on the main slate for, for this slate for less than, I don't know, let's say less than 50 bucks. And you can probably build a lineup that's pretty stellar at this tier. Oh, look, I have him, DJ Moore. Uh, that is tournament somewhat optimized. Oh, look, there's Jamar Chase. I have a rare, can't play him down. Jamar Chase is a superstar. You can tell by this little S uh, in the lobby. Mark Andrews, do I have a two rares? That one's in a lineup. Let's put him in a lineup, boom. And then I'll pick one other player that I've got down here at the rare tier or at the core tier. Shepard, Carter, Jacoby Myers, sure. Obviously, this is not the best lineup. I'm focused on the higher tier, the higher stakes games uh, that exist in like the Rainmaker, Legendary, and Elite tiers. But if you wanted to play down at core, you have a free pack waiting for you on DraftKings. Just log in, go to the marketplace. You get your free cards that you get, and you can build a lineup as long as you have enough to build. They have at core and rare, which is, I believe, where most of the people are going to play. There is showdown games. You need four cards to play that one. There is the main slate and a Thursday through Monday slate. Uh, that allows you to play a five-player uh, five lineup that we just built out with a quarterback, a running back, a uh, wide receiver, wide receiver slash tight end, and a flex where you can put in a defender, a kicker, or another running back if that's how you build your lineup, but only one superstar there. Every game in the Rainmaker lobby has no entry fee. The entry fee is you holding the cards. 
So if I was to go to my cards, all of the cards that exist on this page, I could put into a lineup and there's different rules for playing in different tiers. At legendary, you need to have two legendary cards in a lineup. At the Rainmakers tier, that's the high dollar tier, you have to have at least two Rainmaker cards in the lineup to build a lineup, and then three legendary cards. So they're trying to herd the high stakes players up into the high stakes games and keep them out of the lower stakes games. Because if you have some really good legendary or above cards, entering them in core where you're gonna have to play against like 25 to 50 times as many people, we've talked already on this video about playing against smaller fields, this is why. And in that uh, Discord, we have a great community of guys that are talking about this game and thinking about this game because it's not just about what you're playing against other people in the contest, it's also very much a market game. So 100% of my market advice from 10 plus years of playing these video games that have markets uh, attached to them and understanding already coming into the game where the ebbs and the flows are, where buying opportunities are, where selling opportunities are, and how we can arbitrage the market uh, and find different ways to leverage what the public is going to do uh, to make money off the market as well as preparing ourselves for these games all of my tips are in that hq discord as well the only way to get in is with a coin so thank you guys for watching i wish you the best of luck this season there's another video right there he's a legend